Hey, my name is Grips and I've been using Crowd Video Studio for the past 11 years. I think I'm more than qualified to give you a balanced reviews of the pros and cons. I personally think one of the key features when it comes to Crowd Video Studio is the user-friendly interface. If you're an absolute beginner, the software is quite intuitive. In other words, the menu system isn't really complex to get what you need. A simple drag and drop to the timeline and you're on your way. Now, if I look at something like Adobe Premiere, the interface and the menu system can be quite daunting and the learning curve is quite steep. So for a beginner, this may not be the ideal choice for you. And this is where Crowd Video Studio shines through. Now, if you are a beginner, more than likely your computer isn't high in spec. In other words, you're not doing things like Adobe After Effects and running 8K videos. You're doing simple things like maybe a vlog or a talking head or just videotaping your favorite train set. And this is where Corel Video Studio comes through because it's very user-friendly on the resources. I bought my computer when Jesus was a baby and I'm running 2023 Ultimate and I don't actually see any leg. And this is where Corel Video Studio shines through because you don't need a high-spec computer in order to operate the software. If you're an absolute beginner and you first launch Corel Video Studio, more than likely you're just sitting there looking at the screen because you're not sure what does what. And this is another feature that Corel Video Studio shines through is that they give you a built-in learning center. In other words, you can just simply go there, go through all the tutorials, and you can start learning on how to use the software. In the old days, they had a PDF file and you were sitting there for hours and hours just to do something as simple as drag and drop your first video clip on the timeline. Or you could just go to my channel and I got 300 videos to teach you how to use that software. Now, obviously, the software is not perfect, and I will mention some of the cons of using the software. And the main one is the stability. I have quite often found myself screaming at the computer because it has crashed. And then this is due to, say, me adding lots of filters to it, doing color corrections. And by, by all rights, it shouldn't be doing this. I have used other softwares, like right now, I'm also using Camtasia to do all my screen recording, and never, ever once has it actually crashed. And I can't say the same for Corel Video Studio. If you go to, say, the Corel website, the, to the forums, you'll see many many people mentioning this so this leads me to the second part which is the custom support now the customer support is actually what i think quite poor they do their level best but their level best in my opinion is not good enough again if i go into say the forums you can quite often see people frustrated the customer support really isn't there so be aware when you are starting to use the software and you do get crashes the only source of information more than likely is actually the forums another major drawback with corral video studio is the lack of third-party software in other words they have basically closed the doors on everything except for ProDad and new blue fx and yet there's so many third-party softwares that i'd like to be able to use within corral video studio but i'm just unable to but i think the software is designed for beginners or even intermediates and most of these plugins is most likely being used by professionals since the birth of ai technology i see corral video studio drastically falling behind Many of the competitions out there have already adopted this. There's also many of the online free editors that's available using AI technology. I hope in future releases that Corel Video Studio will wake up and start incorporating some of these AI technologies. I should mention I do not work for Corel Video Studio and this is not a paid promotion. This is my honest review, the pros and cons of actually using the software for the past 11 years. If you're an absolute beginner and you want to start out, I think the Corel Video Studio software is more than what you need. But if you are looking to do something more fancy, have a look at DaVinci Resolve or even go for Adobe Premiere. The one thing I will note is the fact that Corel Video Studio is a one-time payment and the software is yours forever. I hope this helped you out making the decision whether you want to use Corel Video Studio or not. But as always, thanks for watching.